But in 2013, we started a five and 10 mile race that starts and finishes at Second Soul at the store here and runs through Mill Creek Park. The Sports Enterprise is brought to you by the Timberlands Complex in Salem. We time local races, we put on our own races, um, and we do everything from head to toe, from timing the race to creating shirts and awards and, and everything you need to facilitate a race. How much does it cost to stage a road race? Um, minimum of $1,000. Um, I would say up to $1,500. Um, we usually say it's between three to six months just to plan um, for sponsorships to be able to put on the event. Um, so I would say anywhere between a minimum of $1,000 up to $1,500. A lot of people think that just because there are a lot of road races in the area that they're fairly inexpensive, but it definitely takes some fundraising and good participation from the community to be able to successfully raise funds for a cause or even just to hold one on its own. How are you able to have road races? Um, basically, uh, through the COVID protocols, you mean? Um, working with the health department, um, Every county is different, so we had to work with different health um, directors per county um, because regulations varied. Um, but if an event would try to book with us or we were putting one on, um, we would have to go through and figure out which protocols needed to be met by the health departments in those counties, and then we were able to safely put on events that way. The first race that got canceled was actually the Shamrock Run last year, and they had about 300 participants registered before we had to cancel it in 2020. Uh, they had just over 300 finishers this year. So we're definitely seeing an uptick in registration. And I think in general with the vaccine and with people starting to feel a little bit safer and understanding that we have guidelines in place for social distancing, I think we'll continue to see more people come out and participate. I would say in the beginning, it was, it was close to all races were canceled. Um, that changed probably in July, where I would put us back to about 50% capacity. Um, it took quite a while to get to the point where participants were feeling comfortable enough to come out to events. I think after Second Soul Racing had put on um, you know, an event or two in the, the early summer that they realized that we could do it safely and those numbers began to slowly increase. I would expect that we'll see a big uptick this summer in participation. People who've been vaccinated and are eager to get out and participate in events that they haven't been able to do in more than a year. Uh, I, I would expect that we'll see a, a pretty big you know, participation burst, if you will, in that regard. In the fall, a lot of larger races ha that were usually held in the spring have kind of canceled. So I could see some of those total numbers uh, still being very high, but per race, I could see the numbers going down a little bit just because there's going to be a lot of events for people to choose from. In moving into 22, I think things will balance out a little bit more and we'll kind of get back to what normal participation would look like. But hopefully with the awareness of people's health and activity level. I, I hope that we'll continue to grow participation in all of our events uh, moving forward. Make it an evening or a weekend. You won't want to miss the opportunities available to you at the Timberlanes Complex in Salem. Enjoy bone shakers, polished casual dining experience, and top the evening off with some of the widest selections of craft beers, bourbons, and martinis. Then enjoy the connected 50-room hotel in a clean and inviting atmosphere at Stables Inn and Suites. If you're in the mood to cheer for your favorite teams, join us downstairs at Quaker Steak and Lube in Salem. Enjoy your evening or weekend at the Timberlanes Complex in Salem.